Hi, I'm Pat Cadden from Pat's Garage. You're here in the shop. We've been working on hybrids since Honda came out with the Insight and Toyota came out with the Prius in late 99, early 2000. Uh, we realized that this was definitely the future of automotive technology, so we got involved in it really early. A lot of people worry about uh, buying a hybrid and the fact that it's really complicated, it's going to be very, very expensive to maintain, it costs a lot more when it's new. Um, it is more complicated, but it's not a more expensive car. It's actually less expensive over the course of the life of a car, I think, than a regular car. It's a little bit higher buy-in price, but if you compare the maintenance that's required on these cars, a hybrid actually costs way, way less per year to operate than a regular car. You have regenerative braking, which makes the brakes last way, way longer. In San Francisco, my average Honda customer gets 15 to 30,000 miles out of a set of front brakes. I've never sold a set of front brake pads on a Prius from 2001. I have customers that have 180,000 miles on a set of brake pads. So basic things like that. The fact that the car runs more often off of electricity means that it will run less often off of gas. So the engine itself works less. It doesn't work nearly as hard. You have oil change intervals can be changed to from 3,000 to 5,000 or even longer if you spend all your time commuting on the freeway at normal speeds. My average Subaru customer spends $1,000 to $1,300 a year on maintenance and repairs. My average Honda customer spends $800 to 1000 My average Toyota Prius customer spends less than $230 a year on maintenance. So if you even look at that over a five-year period, it's very, very inexpensive to take care of a hybrid. A lot of different kinds of hybrids on the road. There's the, the, the full hybrid like the Prius. There's the, the a simpler hybrid like the, like the Honda Civic. You can go into the very, very simple um, SUV GM hybrids. They all have slightly different configurations. The simpler it is, actually, the more expensive it is to maintain because the gas engine will run far more often. The more often the gas engine runs, the more complicated, the more expensive it is going to be to maintain. One of the things that we get a lot of questions about, about hybrids is the misconceptions about batteries. People worry about the batteries because they're a very expensive part of the car. First generation Priuses had a few issues with their batteries, but very few. In terms of the second generation of Priuses, we've not replaced any batteries whatsoever. We expect them to last well beyond the life of, of a Prius. If they do go bad, let's say for some reason you have a, a, a weird cell or two inside of your car. These, these batteries are guaranteed for 10 years or 150,000 miles right off the bat. In terms of worrying about what's going to happen with these batteries when they come out of the car, you really don't need to worry about it that much. When these batteries are no longer good to be used in a Prius, they probably still have about 50% capacity as battery storage. We're working on a project with PG&E right now where they're taking old Prius batteries, either out of crash cars or ones that from the early generation have failed, and they're using them as stationary storage for solar systems. If they were totally bad, the elements inside of nickel metal hydride and lithium batteries are so valuable today that recyclers are stripping them to everything possible and recycling them. So if they did go bad and if it was outside of battery, your battery warranty, chances are by the time that happens, these batteries are going to sell for a third of what they sell for today.